This video is to discuss uh, Autodesk Build, do an overview, uh, give us an understanding of what Autodesk Build is compared to Plan Grid. So let's start off with the product history. Autodesk um, in the past had set up, they'd created a platform called Autodesk BIM 360. And in this platform, they were going to release different softwares and products that were going through with it. So Autodesk BIM 360 had Google, uh, Autodesk 360 Docs, Autodesk BIM 360 Design, Autodesk BIM 360 Glue, Autodesk BIM 360 Build. And in 2021, they have updated their software and have gone with a different platform. As you can see, they changed their logo and they transitioned, they're transitioning away from Autodesk uh, BIM 360 into Autodesk Construction Cloud as a platform. Now this platform allows them to add additional softwares and modules to it. And what they did was they took docs and now they're calling it just Autodesk docs. Autodesk Docs, similar to like OneDrive, Dropbox, Viewpoint, it's just one big file cabinet where they're going to store all of their documents, allow you to share and move things across different devices on a cloud server. In regards to the design and glue, what they did was they created different items for Autodesk BIM Collaborate and Autodesk BIM Collaborate Pro. These are BIM tools usually used by the general contractors for clashing and coordinating the model. The pro version was BIM 360 design. Now that's now become BIM 360, sorry, Autodesk BIM Collaborate Pro. So build is gonna be the one that we're gonna mostly focus on in regards to the rest of the meeting or this video where Autodesk BIM 360 Build is now just being called Autodesk Build. And since they purchased PlanGrid, they have basically created their own version of PlanGrid, copy and pasted the software, made enhancements and integrated some of their BIM 360 field features and integrated that in with, with the new version of, of PlanGrid. They do have another software that is part of the cloud, which is Autodesk Takeoff. This software is not part of our, our current subscription package, but it's similar to OST. It allows you to do quantitative takeoffs. You could measure you know, A-type walls, B-type walls, and it would give you uh, footages. This is the current suite that's available, and I put a dash line around Takeoff that's available if we wanted to look at it. but um, they have a new one that's going to be coming out in 2022, which will be Autodesk uh, pre-construction. This is a bid management tool. It'll be used for you taking your estimates and sending it out kind of like a customer relationship management software. Now we transition into, well, let's look at what, what is plant grid compared to the Autodesk build? First, we're going to start off with just looking by the web version. The current web version is we use PlanGrid.com. We throw all of our documents and sheets and, and RFIs and everything inside of here, so it's shared with the field. And this is the cool. This is the current list of tools that are on the uh, PlanGrid.com. Autodesk Construction Cloud or Autodesk Build you would go to this web address to go in, and this is where you would upload your drawings, your sheets, your RFIs. As you can see from the toolbox that it's very similar to plan grid. And we'll go through each one of those items. One of the big distinctions, the difference between the reason why we're migrating was that plangrid.com was a paper license and paper number of sheets. So you could add a user, you had to set them up with a certain a type of account, a crane account, a dozer account, and they had a certain capacity of how many sheets or how much information they could do. Well, in Autodesk Build, we're now unlimited user with unlimited capacity. So we can put as many sheets, many documents inside of one 
project, multiple projects, and multiple users. So taking a look, Sheets in Plan Grid, an Autodesk Cloud. Sheets is the same, except for some added benefits and features. Tasks from Plan Grid has now been relabeled over into Issues in Autodesk Cloud. RFIs are the same with some additional features. Field reports in Plan Grid, or if you're using uh, Autodesk Build, is called Forms. Documents is now called Files. Photos is the same. Submittals is the same. Teams is now called Members in Autodesk Build. And Settings is the same. So these are all the tools from Plan Grid that, that migrated over into Autodesk Build. But as you can see, there's additional tools that have been added. They also have some new, new feature coming out uh, in what they're, one of their rollouts they call is a roadmap uh, called progress tracking. You'd be able to highlight walls and be able to mark its percentages complete. What, one of the key differences in what we're in Autodesk build is that over in plan grid, you are in plan grid by project. In Autodesk Build, they give you additional tools or products that you can use inside of the cloud. So you can transfer between different products. Uh, this tutorial is just really just focused on Build, but I wanted to give you a heads up about here's where you would pick your product picker and say, hey, I want to be inside of Build. But they have insights and cost management, takeoff and documents all inside of the cloud you would pick up here. One of the other key distinctions was between documents and files that in plan grid, you just have one big folder and then you create subfolders. Well, in Autodesk Cloud, you have two tiers of folders, folders that you want to sync to mobile devices and folders that you just want to be visible via the web portals. So you can put in, let's say change orders or budgeting or items like that inside a project folder, but things that you want shared to the field, you want to file inside of for the field. This also includes BIM files. So now we ha have the ability to put a BIM file inside of the, the model file and NWD inside of the for the field. And this is available on the web and also on the mobile version. So we'll be able to navigate the model without any additional software and be able to kind of see what, uh, what the, how the BIM built it and give that experience to the field. Let's talk about the mobile version. In the mobile version, when you look at your iPads, you'll see that on your the app icon, the old version was just said plan grid. And when you open it up, it said plan grid here, and then you had you would download the items from in the cloud onto the device. This feature is still available to us and will still be um, being used for all of our projects that we're currently there that are moving forward. The new version a plan grid from the mobile device you'll see on your apps is that, that this is the new logo if you update and it has an A on it. And what that feature when you update it allows is that Autodesk build will now pop up when you press this open. So you can access your plan grid documents or you can also access your build documents. Both will be available to you. So taking an overview, this is where on the mobile version down here at the bottom, and on the web version at the top. Right now, Plan Grid, we have documents that, that we put inside of here that sync with the mobile device and will go on, go into Plan Grid. And documents that you upload into Autodesk Build through the website here will go in and sync with Build when you sync on your mobile device. So both these, you can have files in both locations being synced and we just have to work with the field to train the difference between Clicking, where do you click on plan grid? Where do you click on build? There's additional resources that Autodesk created for a project management team or for the field that want to learn how to navigate um, all the different features in regards to, let's say, sheets or RFIs or, or issues. They have different modular self paced trainings. They have webinars that they've done where you can watch and see what they've done presentations with uh, other 
companies or specific features. And they also have on-demand trainings. So Autodesk Build, we'll be letting you know more about when we're gonna be uh, officially launching it and rolling it out. Uh, your main contacts will be me, Dickie Anderson, or uh, Matt Christensen, or any kind of senior project managers. Thank you.